Good day, guys. Bing here. Um, today we're going to model uh, a this uh, stairs. Um, okay, so this is uh, the floor plan. So, so the first um, step to second step, and then all there's a landing, and then go all the way up. Okay, so so I had a try. Um, so it it it's. Uh, it's possible to use uh, just the uh, stairs tool in Revit to model this. So now let, let me show you how to do it. So first, let's create a project. And okay, so let me just have a look again. Okay, so you can say um, we can probably we can start with the stairs first. So go to stair. Okay, so I'm going to just use this around. Uh, maybe change this one to uh, yeah, assembly is fine. Um, but I want to change this one to maybe 270. Okay, so now, so first we draw around. Okay, so from the ground floor level to level one. So this is a, a, a stairs, normal stairs. So we can finish it. Okay, so let's have a look in 3D, 3D view. Uh, maybe just delete the handrail. So this is a normal stairs. Uh, so go back to the floor plan. So now we can edit, edit stair, select it, and we can convert it into a you know a, a stair by by sketch. So sketch based. Okay. So close. Okay. So now we can use this edit sketch. So now we just need to um, try to work out so which line need to be a. Uh, which line need to be a boundary line? Which which line need to be a, a tread? Okay, tread. So, uh, oh sorry, <laughs> riser. So which one need to be riser, and then we, which one need to be boundary? So let me just use uh, TL so you can see this uh, a little bit better. So green line is boundary. Okay, so always the boundary of the like in, imagine as a tread. So this. The, the the black line is the riser. So now here, so let's have a look again. So uh, maybe we have a uh, 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 one maybe one meter. So if this uh, one meter, so see that's one meter. Yep. So maybe just one meter by one meter. Okay. So this is the third one. So which is this one? So let's just delete these two. Okay. And delete this one as well. And CC copy this to the left by one mega. Okay, so we, we can uh, just leave it for now. Okay, so drag this to this end. And here, so this actually become, becomes boundary. So if you go back to this image, so you can see this is not, the trap, uh, the riser becomes this one. This become this is a riser, this is riser, but this one become becomes a boundary. So we need to delete this one. And go here to use boundary line because you can't you can't change change. So for example, once you have a line, you can't really change it into a different type. So you need need to uh, just delete it and uh, redraw it. Okay, here. So this one need to back to here, and then we need to draw a riser here. Okay. So and then select this one. Let's CC copy up by one or uh, 270 another 270 and then let's have a look again so we need to continue so this this is still riser okay so this is riser and to here okay so then we just need to use riser and then to here oh yeah to uh, to here so that's fine let's copy this one to here delete this trim and then do the same, copy another one to here, trim, and trim. I think this should um, this should work. So let's, now, we still need to, to finish this one. Sometimes you don't need to, if you do not um, have, sometimes when you are not, when, when you are not um, having this uh, stair path and Revit will automatically uh, create one for you, but sometimes it won't work. Okay, so you can see it uh, it doesn't work. So which means we need to tell Revit um, how we want to f 
finish this. So we just draw it, this uh, to here. And I think um, instead of do this, maybe just do this. So let's try again, finish. Okay, so now let's have a look. Oh, looks like we have some issue here. So but let's go to 3D view. Um, yeah, it looks fine. On the floor plan, it looks, ah, oh, interesting. It looks wrong. <laughs> Let me just finish it. Uh, doesn't look right. But in the 3D view, it looks okay. So, um, yeah, I'm not quite sure. Let's edit the stairs. Maybe I'll delete these uh, stringer and see what happens. Okay, so I'll finish this. Let's go to the front. Okay, so I don't think this is right. Um, actually, I want to go back because I did this last time. Okay, I, I, do, I do not have a floor plan view. I only have this sketch, which is exactly the same. Oh, hang on. Um, yeah, exactly the same. So maybe let's go back to this stairs and go back to edit sketch and see what we can do to this. So this is continuous. So how about how about we draw another boundary line here? That ah, doesn't work. <laughs> okay. Mm. So I think this one's correct. This one's all good. This one, um, yeah, I think the issue is here. I'm not sure how we can solve this, but I'll just have a try. So if I break it here finish are uh, still the same so I think probably instead of instead of you know trying to um, it looks like the stairs looks fine so maybe um, I think this will be it this will be it so what you probably need to do is just in, in floor plan so once you finish just do a line <laughs> so just do it like a detail line maybe this yeah, so it's interesting. Um, maybe, hang on, I think I have an idea. So instead of doing this, so let's just go to edit sketch. And then we might be able to, um, instead of, so you can see this is currently exactly matching this edge, right? So if we, uh, let's just change the TL first. If I copy this one up by one mil, oops, sorry, go back. Copy this up. Um, oh no, not cop. I draw this, draw a boundary up. So draw a boundary up by one mil because we don't want extra uh, riser, right? So, but for the boundary, uh, maybe five. Okay, so five, and then just continue this. Um, so this one need to be boundary, right? Boundary here. So and then we can just trim or oh, hang on, trim this one first and then trim this. So just separate them. So separate um, separate this bit and this bit. So if I finish, let's have a look again. So go to 3D view, maybe just delete this string again. Uh, anything else here? So this one just delete it and finish. So let's have a look again, go to floor plan. Okay, so at least this time, it looks like, so uh, there's an extra line here, right? So it's, um, yeah, it's fine mil, but I think if you really want to uh, reduce the gap, um, we can just tear again, we can just make it one mil or 0 0.8, that's the minimum <laughs> we can get. So. I think that, so on the floor plan, so once I turn on the uh, TL, so you won't see any um, issue, right? So it looks like uh, exactly, uh, hang on, go back like this one. Okay, so let's have a look. Oh, sorry, uh, if I do, uh, if I finish this one, let me just drag this way up a little bit so if I do a, a track number oh interesting oh it's doing this <laughs> um, hang on. 
one, two, three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Looks. Oh, what's that? Uh, sorry about that. It's uh, just clicking too fast. I'll just uh, close this. <clears throat> Close this, close this. Okay, so my mouse is not working properly. Um, yeah, I think this one we can just place on the other side, maybe. Yeah, I think uh, that's close, close enough. <laughs> okay, so yep, so this is it. I um. And I just noticed that uh, it only works if we use assem uh, assembled stairs. It won't work if I change it to uh, mono. Hang on, what's that? Monolith mo monolithic uh, stairs. I think it's probably because you know we can't work out that in that area. So the the like uh, the curve or um, yeah. So. I'll I'll try the other one. Precast don't work. So yep, only it works um, if you use assem assembled assembly assembled stairs. Okay, so this is it. Um, and if you have any questions, please uh, let me know. And I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.